there they are. Oh, I do see them. There they are. Okay, there you guys are. So what setup you got on this one? So this is something I kind of came up with. Uh, company Tory Pines makes a, a thermal device. Uh -huh. And it feeds the thermal information in a little... Here, come back and take a look. It feeds a little thermal picture-in-picture picture inside the day scope. But oh, I put nice. my clip on in front so I get both night vision and thermal. And this thing has a built-in laser rangefinder. No shit. So. Oh, nice, yeah. <laughs> that thermal's crazy. Yeah, it's not a it's not a really good thermal, but I'm just testing it. That's wild. Fifty more yards. Yep, five hundred twenty-seven yards or five hundred yards to the house. Close enough. Good enough. Six hundred. That tree is like nine hundred, I think. Yep, pretty close. This is cool. Kind of. Where's 
my focus knob. Oh wow, you can see the laser rangefinder flashing pulse. Lays that house. Zoom. That's cool. Where did that tree go? There it is. Yeah, you can barely make it out, but you see it's pulsing. Cool. It works. Yeah, we're good. Okay, ready? I didn't jump in front of you that long. Are you rolling? Yeah. All right, guys. Smooth it. Boom. All right, now let's observe. I don't see anything glowing. Flames. No. <laughs> Flames. <laughs> that one went like immediately, though. Yeah. Sector Optics T2 with um, integrated, well not integrated, there's a thermal device on top of the scope and it feeds the information, the thermal image, into that little picture window you see at the very top at 12 o'clock. And I have it now with a PVS27 clip on in front. This thing is in the way. No, the housing is in the way. There it is. So there is. Oh, okay, there it is. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, there's focus. Let's zoom. Oh, that is max zoomed out. Ew. Okay, no. So the reticle in the in the device on the T2 is actually pretty close to the zero on on here. That's annoying, you gotta focus, pull focus so far. You got the dual mode going? Yep, fusion. But the thermal's not that great. The problem is it has to see over the PVS 27, and there's a big, like, obs it's obscuring a lot. Oh, bottom. bottom corner there. Did you try it with the 30 or the 20? Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's doable. Where's the laser rangefinder thing? Uh, that's the. Right oh, that's cool. I can actually see my laser rangefinder. So 48 yards. That piece of steel is 48 yards away. So watch this. You can sort of see the, the the beat the. You see that flashing? Yeah. That pig is 305 yards away. Let's see how far this. Oh, thing. okay. So it actually does have a laser rangefinder built in. Yeah, this one has a laser range, laser rangefinder. Oh yeah. Do you is. see it blinking? Yeah. Just lost that. Yeah. So that's a uh, hundred yards. Yep. Now, is it co-aligned with the thermal? Sort of. 
Is it aimable? No. Well, it, it creates a box. But the help was the nice thing is I can see it in the night vision device. Right, but I mean, if you didn't have night vision, you're just running thermal. Yeah. But I really don't know the benefit of this thing because without this night vision clip on, it's too dark and I can't see anything. So what use is it? And that postage stamp of a little thermal window <laughs> is not Big enough. that useful. I'd rather, yeah. actually rather look at this little TV screen up here right. than, yeah. look, than look through there. This is just not big enough. No, it's too small. Or they need to do like what uh, the, uh, the other one does where it... Overlays in the middle. Overlays, yeah. But it's only showing you the, uh, the really hot. Oh, out of bullets. 